Hey, you get that stimulus check yet? I don't know, man. Mm, let's check. Let's check. Why are we supposed to get in on like the sixth? Yeah, then they said like the ninth. Mm. I think okay, I didn't get it. Uh, nah, man, now they're saying like the 15th. I don't have it either. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody wants their money, but nobody's gotten it yet. Hey, I'm Alex. And I'm Philip. And we teach you what you need to know about your personal finances using words you can understand without boring you to death. Because adulting shouldn't suck. Mm. If you're new to our channel and you'd like to stay up to date with what's going on with the stimulus package, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It's April 12th, 2020, and we're going to give you the most up-to-date information and timeline as of right now about the economic impact payment, also known as the, oh yeah, payments, also known as the stimulus check, which is also known as Trump money. Woo, woo. You know all of our kids, like most of our kids hate Trump, right? Oh yeah. They're not gonna, they're Absolutely. like, and unsubscribe. <laughs> the IRS just added a section to their website covering the economic impact payments for both filers and, and non-filers. So go there and check that out. Where's mine? Rude. <laughs> yeah, dog. Cheers. The IRS projects that by April 15th, 50 to 70 million Americans should receive their um, stimulus payment. After you receive your... <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't act well under pressure. Uh, after you get your payment, you should get a letter in the mail 15 days later stating how much money you got paid and how it got delivered. If for some reason you didn't get that money and it wasn't delivered via mail or direct deposit, it'll have instructions on how you can dispute that and file a claim. Like I said before, the IRS created a section on their website for this type of stuff, right? The economic impact payments. If you've already filed your taxes for 2018 or 2019, you haven't moved and you received your tax returns with direct deposit, then you're good to go. You don't need to watch this video anymore. No actions required of you. You're gonna get your payment, hopefully sometime around the 15th. If you moved or if you haven't filed, you need to go to irs.gov and click on the buttons in there to update your information or add your information in there. I forgot to mention, if you had filed your taxes and you moved or you changed bank accounts um, to update your information, that button right now on irs.gov is currently grayed out. But it says mid-April, the button's gonna work. And once the button works, that's where you can add your direct deposit information if you receive your payment by check or you can change your address. The part of the IRS website that is working is the non-filer section, which is for people who typically don't make enough money and they don't have to actually file taxes. So when you click on the non-filer tab, it'll take you to another website where you can update your information. I know we had said uh, in a previous video or other video covering this stuff that you can't you know, get a payment if you were claimed on somebody else's taxes right, like your parents, because you're their dependent. But on the IRS website, it does say that you're likely not to qualify for, but there's still a possibility. So this non-filer section is a section that I would personally apply for. You know, the worst they can do is tell you no, the best thing they can do is give you $1,200. So, do it. Ask your parents if, you know, you need some additional information from them, but you just go there, you put in your information, and if you made any money, you put in the money that you made in there and uh, you'd click the button. IRS is going to review it in 24 to 48 hours and they'll tell you yes or no. If you filed your taxes in 2018 and 2019, but you received a check from the IRS instead of getting your money direct deposit, once the link becomes available this week on the IRS website, you might want to go in there and update your information uh, or add a direct deposit um, method a payment in there for you because they don't expect to start delivering checks out in the mail until April 24th. They are going to try to send out 5 million checks a week starting to the, to the people with the lowest amount of income and then working their way up from there. 
um, but it could take as long as to September to receive your payment. You know, so if you're right there at that top level um, gross income for your money, you know, you might not get your money until fall. So the idea is to get the money in the hands of the people who need it most. So it's going to start going out to the people who are the lowest income earners. So the current IRS timeline that you can maybe expect your payment is less. If you're in less than $10,000, April 24th for a check. If you're in less than $20,000, May 1st, less than $30,000, May 8th, less than $40,000, May 15th. So it goes up in increments of $10,000 and a week later, they're sending out 5 million checks a week, starting with the people who earn the least and then gradually working up to the people who earn the most. September 11th is the IRS's last date of their checks to go out, allegedly, right? Remember, this is for paper checks, paper checks only. If you are getting your money direct deposit because you got your tax returns direct deposit or you went in and updated your payment information, payment method, whatever the term is, uh, you should start getting your money hopefully by April 15th and everybody should have their money no later than the end of April. So, cheers to stimulus checks. Maybe. Mm. This is the most up-to-date information we have as of right now. Hopefully this gives you a better idea of when you're going to get a check, either by direct deposit or by mail. And remember, if you have to update your information, go to irs.gov and do it sooner than later. Yeah. If you like this video, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. And in the comments below, let us know what you're going to do with your stimulus check. And if you like this video, share it with your friends because they probably need to know about their money too. And tag them. Yeah. <laughs>